Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's Movie Review here, and today I want to bring my unboxing and review of The Man with the Magic Box on DVD. Be sure to click subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload great new content. If you enjoy the video, be sure to show it some love and give it a like rating. So this one includes DVD, a stylish Orwellian Gilliam sci-fi thriller. The man with the magic box. The way they did this kind of thing with the font there makes it look like blurry. It's kind of weird that they did that. Um, this one is from Artsploitation Films and this is a Norwegian movie. An atmospheric time-traveling sci-fi thriller about an amnesiatic young man who suddenly finds himself in futuristic totalitarian Warsaw. Assigned to be an office cleaner and given a drab apartment, he becomes part of the system until an old radio triggers memories from his troubled past. Memories the authorities do not want him to remember. There's a few stills there from the film. Uh, this one is not rated and has a 103-minute runtime. What did I say this was? Norway, yeah. If you guys have seen this one, love to hear your thoughts without spoilers in the comment section below. Let's check out the inside. And there you have the disc with the same art as the cover. All right, guys, I got to check out the man with the magic box. This one is not rated, has a one hour and 43 minute runtime, is a drama romance sci-fi, and it's a foreign movie, so I'm not going to really try any of the names. I will leave the director and the cast down in the description below if you guys are really curious uh, about the, the crew of this one. But uh, this was, like I say, a sci-fi romance kind of movie, and uh, to be honest, I didn't understand the sci-fi at all. And then I just read the description on IMDb, and now it pretty much... <laughs> pretty much just told me exactly all the things I was confused about uh, and confirms kind of my suspicions. So at the beginning you see this woman and the government tells her that her memory's been erased comparing it to the Men in Black movie <laughs> where they had the little pen that would erase your memory and that's what they did to her and now they're gonna re-put her into society and, um, and then you see this guy, he kind of shows up at this place and he doesn't really know what's going on. And you kind of assume maybe the same things happened to him. And he starts working at this, uh, some sort of building and there's like some top secret stuff going there, but he, uh, he becomes a janitor there and he works with this other janitor and the other janitor is kind of a, kind of a weird guy. And there's this woman there who, um, kind of starts taking a liking to him. It all happens so quick though. Um, she tells him she's just in it for a physical relationship and he's kind of in it for more. And I kind of feel like it's this whole um, thing about like she's upper class and he's lower class and how it's wrong for them to be together. But uh, they like each other anyway. So they're, they're kind of just doing their thing a little bit. Um, and then th he keeps going back to his uh, like apartment or whatever it is. And he has like this radio or something. Um, and it's giving him like these uh, like secret messages or something like that and tell giving him instructions to do something and I, I found that whole part just super confusing um, they, ex they do like explain it a little bit later but then even then I was still confused exactly what was happening um, right here on IM IMDB it says a time traveling device so this uh, radio thing must have been the time traveling device because you do see him go back to uh, an earlier time period, maybe the 50s or 60s, and then um, this whole thing with the memory erasing and thing, that's in 2030. So um, it was hard to say for sure if like he belonged in the past or the future. And, and when I was watching it, I wasn't even sure like if that's what was really happening. I was just so confused. Um, but I guess it was a time traveling device and it says um, he gets stuck in the past. So I guess uh, he belongs in the future, <laughs> you know, uh, but I, the romance thing, I think, was a bigger part of this movie. Um, and then they just kind of had this other sci fi part. Um, and, and there was like a lot of kind of just futuristic stuff happening. And then there was like, I remember there was something about a missile defense system. And then you actually see like a, a building in the distance, like explode 
but it, nobody really seems to care. And I'm not sure what they were going with with that whole thing, if they were in war or, or what the deal was. But I thought this movie was okay. You know, I, I did have a little trouble at times keeping up with the dialogue because it was very quick. Um, it, it was hard to keep up with reading it all. Um, and then there was, I was, you know, with a, a little bit of a confusing story. You're trying to keep up with the dialogue. <laughs> it, it, it makes it a little tough to really uh, focus on the movie and, and get what they're trying to bring across to you and understand everything that's going on. Uh, like I said, the sci-fi part to me was just super confusing. Um, the, the romance thing, I mean, that was... That was easy to understand, um, and I, I just wasn't entirely sure um, about that. You know, it, this movie did have kind of a low-budget feel to it, but at the same time, it looked fine. Like, I, I was very pleased with the production of this one. Uh, so I think for a score on this one, guys, I'm going to give a 6.5 out of 10. You know, it's a it's a fun movie worth watching, but it does get a little slow in parts, and it is kind of confusing. <laughs> uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. Remember, you can find more information, including affiliate links to purchase the man with the magic box down in the description below. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. Check out the suggested videos. Check out my website, bobsmoviereview.com. And I'll see you guys next time.